Hi guys, as many of you may already know, Windows 11 24 H2 has been released. Updates have started rolling in on supported computers, but not everyone is getting the update. Even if their computer meets the minimum requirements, they might not be seeing the Windows 11 24 H2 update yet. If anyone among you is facing such a problem, don't worry, you'll get the update sooner or later, or you can download and install it manually. You can follow the method shown in this video as well with just a few small changes. But today's video is especially for those viewers who want to install and enjoy Windows 11 24 H2 on an unsupported computer. Yes, if you weren't able to install Windows 11 on your PC because it didn't meet the minimum system requirements, now is the time you can upgrade from Windows 10 to the latest version of Windows 11, Windows 24 H2, easily. So let's get started. <laughs> On this laptop, I'm currently running Windows 10. It's a very old laptop, guys. It's almost 11 years old. Today, I'm going to install Windows 11 24 H2 on this. If we go to Settings screen, to Windows Updates, some updates are available, but they're for Windows 10 22 H2. Down here it says, this PC doesn't currently meet the system requirements to run Windows 11. Click on Get PC Health Check. Let's check. This will take you to Microsoft's official page. Scroll down a bit and click here. The PC Health Check app starts downloading. Open it to install the app. Check Open Windows PC Health Check and click on Finish. Here you can see, this is an 11-year-old PC, as I told you. Click on Check Now. This PC is currently not supported. Here it says TPM must be enabled, which can be fixed, but also my processor is unsupported. It's a core i7 MAD of 2.40 GHz processor and it says it's not supported. So let's get it to work. Open your browser and type download Windows 11. Click on the first link. That will take you to Microsoft's official website. Here you can see current release Windows 11 24 H2 updates. Scroll down. You will see download Windows 11 disk image ISO file 64 bit. Click here and select Windows 11 Multi-Edition 64-bit ISO. Click on Download Now. While selecting the product language, it's important that you select the correct default system UI language. To know your system's default language, open command. Prompt as administrator, Type or paste this command. I will share this in the video description as well. Here you can see the default system language. In my case, it is English, US. Your system may have a different language. Whatever it is, just remember it. Go back to our download page and select the language now. For me, it's English US. Click Confirm. Click on 64-bit download. The download will start.
It's a 5 gigabyte file, so it may take a while, depending on your internet speed. I'm thinking of creating a debloated version of Windows 1124H2 ISO to make Windows lighter and to get rid of all the bloatware that comes with Windows. If you want me to make a video on this, please comment below. Okay guys, the download is complete. Here is the ISO file. You can install it in two ways. Either you can right click and mount the ISO and if you are running a supported PC, you can install it this way. But since we are installing it on an unsupported PC, we'll go with the other method. Right click on the ISO file and extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR. Once the folder is extracted, open it. Open the sources folder and keep it open. Now open CMD as an administrator. Type CD and then go to the open folder, copy its path, come back to CMD, right click and the path will automatically get pasted here. Hit enter. Now we are in that path. Here, after sources, type without giving any space. setupprep.exe slash product server Hit enter, the installation will start. It shows install Windows Server, but don't get confused. It will install Windows 11. Click on change how setup downloads updates. Check not now, click next. Under choose what to keep, you can select whatever you want, but I'll choose Keep Files, Settings, and Apps because I'm recording on this PC and I can't afford to lose my files or apps. Now wait for the installation to complete. The system will restart several times from now on. I'll save my work and close all the apps. I'll see you once the installation is over. Installation in progress. The installation is over guys. Windows 11 24 H2 is finally installed on my old laptop.
Let me switch to my computer screen. So I'm back on my computer screen, guys. Let me open the settings. You can see my Windows activation status is active. Here you see, Windows 1124H2 is running on this PC. So that's it guys, hope this video helped you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Tech2AI, and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Please share this video with your family and friends if you think it might be helpful to them. Thank you for watching, take care.